Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I welcome the chance to debate the support we provide uh, industries and the, the many sectors that have been hit hard by this pandemic. Uh, we are braced with the worst economic downturn for many decades, if not centuries. And already uh, there are many thousands of jobs uh, that have been uh, uh, that are at risk of loss, uh, being lost or already uh, li uh, or likely to be lost, ranging from Centrica, from uh, uh, also Nissan uh, and British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, um, uh, planning to cut over between 12 and uh, 12,000, uh, some 12,000 jobs, um, Rolls Royce, and many others. Uh, all over the country, affecting so many of our constituents. And we also know that uh, some 10% of the population could face unemployment. Uh, a million young people are likely to, lose, uh, likely to face unemployment by the end of the year. And of course, this also needs to be considered in the context of uncertainty around what kind of deal might be agreed and how much friction there might be with the European Union or the risk of a no-deal Brexit causing huge disruption and a possible second wave uh, in relation to the pandemic. So the risks are huge, both economically as well as in terms of health and our relationship with our trading, biggest trading partner. And that's why it's really important that our government focuses on ensuring that there is a clear, coherent economic plan both in terms of protecting those jobs that have been retained with the help of the job retention scheme. And it's why it's very important that employers who are not in a position to make the contribution that they'll have to soon are not forced to do so, because that's going to lead to more job losses. And also, it's vital that the government hears the recommendations of the Treasury Committee report to provide support to the over a million people who didn't benefit. Many of them work in these sectors that we're talking about today, including in the freelance jobs, in the theatre, music industry, creative industries, in constituencies like mine, over a million of them who need help. The new start who've been neglected, those in the hospitality sector who've been neglected. Uh, and I hope that the government will have a clear response to supporting the younger generation. We cannot afford another lost generation. Madam Deputy Speaker, it's vital that we have a credible economic plan that's ambitious, that's bold, that's inclusive, that protects everyone in our country, and that the government uh, creates a new settlement to genuinely tackle the inequalities that exist in our country and ensures that no one's left behind, particularly those that have already faced hardship in our country. Anthony